All right, guys, so this video is about the population uh, pyramids. Uh, this was a topic that was sent in uh, by some people kind of emailing, asking if we could kind of cover this. So I thought we would go ahead and see if we can make it kind of simplified. There's three main things to kind of look out for. Uh, there's three different types of population pyramids that are the main ones. And then if you know the fertility rate, mortality rate, and life expectancy, uh, you'll do just fine when it comes to the uh, step exam. So. Uh, do me a favor, if you found any uh, benefit with this video, uh, make sure you hit subscribe and hit like for it and lets us know that people are watching and hope you like the video. All right guys, so this is the video on population pyramid. Now, the thing you gotta know about population pyramids, and they'll, uh, obviously they'll look very, they'll all look very similar to this and then you'll just see maybe perhaps a different pattern with each one that we'll talk about. But the purpose of the population pyramid essentially is is so they can forecast okay so they can forecast social and economic needs okay so they can basically plan for the for the population so you have to understand that that at the bottom it's always going to be the population in millions most likely because this is a, usually like a country or, or something like that. This is obviously the age groups. This is the uh, men on this side and then this is the uh, women. And then you can see the ages zero to four, there's this many millions of, of say females out there and so on, okay? So that's how you kind of read it. Now, the, the question on this one's gonna say, based on the population pyramid, which of the following is most likely associated with the population involved? So you're gonna have to understand the basic, there's just three, there's three types of these, and if you understand what they, what they look like, then you can kind of see the characteristics, and that's where the questions are gonna come from. So taking, taking a step back, the top, the, the three types of population pyramid, you're gonna have one that looks like this, okay? It looks like a triangle. Then you're gonna have one that's essentially like a rectangle um, that has a small pyramid at the top, and then you got the last one that's going to look kind of look like a like an inverted uh, triangle. So if you know these three types or these three patterns, you're going to answer any of the questions that they're going to give you. So the first type, okay, which looks like this one, right? This one's called the expansive. That's an expansive pyramid. The second type is going to be called the stationary pyramid. And we're just recognizing patterns here because it's when you recognize a pattern, you, it makes it so much easier to kind of comprehend. And then the last one is called a uh, constrictive uh, pyramid, okay? So all you have to understand now is at the very bottom is where the kids are at on that, within these pyramids, and you can understand, okay, what causes that? What would cause it to look like this? Um, so back to this question. Um, based on this, which of the following is most likely associated with the population involved? Is it A, introduction of oral contraceptives? Think about that. If you introduce oral contraceptives to a population, do you think you're going to have your biggest people um, down in the zero to four range or the five to nine? I mean, the top two pe people in this or you know, groups, as far as numbers, are the people between ages of zero and nine on that. So do you think that this pattern is caused by the introduction of oral contraceptives? No. Now, could they probably use it? Probably so, but it's not, it's not looking like this because of that. Is it is it B, seen in developed countries? You know, so what this is saying is, in a developed country, you know, and when you look at these patterns, you gotta look at, you know, the fertility rate, number one, the mortality rate, and the life expectancy. The fertility rate in this country is what? It's big time high, right? So fertility rate here is high because, man, you're having a ton of kids, right? Ton of kids compared to everybody else. The mortality rate, okay, the mortality rate, meaning it's almost like people dying subsequent generate, you know, subsequent, um, I don't say generations, for lack of, for lack of better explanation, mortality rates, like, you know, how many per thousand are, are dying um, in the population. But you can see that the mortality rate is pretty high, right? Because your people are dying in subsequent, the older, they don't really live that long. Um, so the mortality rate is going to be high in, in this situation. And then the uh, life expectancy is the other thing that we measure in all three of these. And the life expectancy, if you look at this, man, there's not a lot of people living to be old here. So it is pretty, uh, 
pretty low, okay? The life expectancy is low. So, is it, would this be seen in a developed country? You know, a very modern country? It seems like in a modern country, you would actually have more of a, a balance between these ages, right? And so the modern country is actually gonna be the stationary pyramid where you can see there's kind of a, a you know, through here, it's like a, a big square. So it's not seen in developed countries, more like developing countries. Is it recovering from famine? We'll learn that a little bit later. Any type, there's always gonna, if there's an anomaly in here, and say this one didn't go out here all the way to here, it only went like right there, okay? Then we have to say something happened during that generation at some point. You know, maybe there was a war, or maybe, you know, uh, something like that, some type of anomaly. So there's nothing, this is just like a straight pattern, so there's nothing to say there was some type of famine that occurred that knocked a generation or two down, or there weren't as many people born. Population is shrinking. Well, think about this. If you're in this population, and then y'all have a discussion, and they say, well, look, we're having a ton of kids. There's a ton of babies out there. Is that population growing, or is it shrinking? This, that population would be growing, right? So this pattern is, is more growing, not shrinking. Is it E, high fertility rate, low life expectancy? Well, the high fertility rate, we said check. Low life expectancy, yeah, people aren't lying, living that much, it's low. So the best answer, the only answer is E, okay? But you gotta be able to recognize the pattern, okay? Know that it, this one's an expansive, what does that mean? A lot of kids, people aren't living very long, low life expectancy, high mortality rate, okay? And if you know that, you'll be able to answer any of these questions. Because it's only a matter, there's only three of them you really gotta know, and they're, and they're really only gonna measure this kind of stuff right here, okay? So, number two says, based on the population pyramid, which of the following best explains the slight narrowing at the base in the zero to nine range, okay? So, if you were to say, look, is this one a pyramid? You know, is this the expansive? Is this the um, stationary? Or is this the constrictive? Because we said, because we just got done talking about the expansive, and, and then we said, you know, what do we say about the expansive? High fertility rate, high mortality rate, because people are dying, and low life expectancy. This looks more like, right, it's more, more like a rectangle, and it has a slight, uh, slight uh, pyramid at the very, very top. This is what's known as a stationary pyramid, okay? This is seen in developed countries, okay? Let's just say USA, okay? It's a rectangle and has a little taper at, taper at the top, okay? Now, the, there's a slight narrowing here, which is what we want to talk about, right? Now, what would cause that slight narrowing at the very bottom? And again, not as exaggerated as we, as we would like it, but again, let's just, let's just say we make it even more like this. Like, they, they only went this far. What would cause that, okay? Is it A, introduction of oral contraceptives? Well, we just kind of talked about that, right? If you would introduce oral contraceptives to, to, to something, then, you know, Possibly, okay, possibly. Is it slow population growth? Okay, I'm gonna say, well, that one, that one's gotta, you know, I can't say no to that one. And I'll be honest, on this question, there's gonna be two, well, there's two correct, but there's one, I'm gonna say best, okay? And this may be argumentative, all that kind of stuff, but it's the purpose of this video is to understand these. This question was made by me, and I think I could have done a better job, but there could be two answers. One is the best to answer this question. Is it a high fertility rate? Well, wait a second. High fertility rate? I wouldn't say it's a high fertility rate. If anything, if it narrows a little bit, it would be more of a lower fertility rate compared to the way it was, okay? So it's definitely not him, right? If it was a high fertility rate, you'd be back doing this guy right here, right, in the expansive. That's a high fertility rate. This is pretty much the same, but if it has an indention, it might be actually a little decreased. Is the population expanding? Well, I see pretty much the population's been staying the same, and then it goes down a little bit, so it's not really expanding. It might go in the other direction, um, or roughly just basically uh, staying the same. Is it low fertility rate? 
Okay, well, maybe. Yeah, I, I, li I like that. Low fertility rate. You want to check on that. Low life expectancy? Well, wait a second. People are living pretty pretty thorough and, and are long, and you do, they do make it to the older years, so I really can't say low life expectancy, you know, especially as compared to, a, um, to an expansive one. Okay? So now we're down to A and B. So it does appear that this that the stationary does have slow population growth, okay? But the question, the question here said, which of the following best explains the slight narrowing at the base of zero to nine? So what would cause this to go decrease? What would cause the, um, the fertility rate to even go lower than it normally would? And that would be the introduction of oral contraceptives. That's what they're looking for. Say, if they made an adjustment to this to this population pyramid, do you know what could have caused that? In this situation, introduction of oral contraceptives might have re may have reduced that, okay? Um, possible. All right, now, so we talked about, right now, we, we've went through two of them, right? We had the, the expansive, which has what? What do we say? High fertility rate, increased mortality rate, and low life expectancy, okay? low life expectancy. Then we just got done talking about the stationary pyramid. This is kind of like your modern, uh, the USA, you know, it's a, it's, a de it's a developed country. This was a developing, this is a developed country, the stationary uh, pyramid. And on this one, you're gonna have low fertility rate, okay? Low fertility rate, low mortality rate, and a high life expectancy, okay? And you're gonna have slow growth, all right? It's slow growth, slow growth of population. So in theory, this one is correct, but it's correct for, the, for what this population pyramid is. But again, the question was said, what causes that slight narrowing? It wasn't slow population, the slight narrowing was due to oral contraceptives, okay? All right, this one. So look, this is the third type, right? And again, there's our expansive one. Here is our stationary pyramid. And then our last one here, if we really take a rough, a rough draw of it, is gonna be an inverted pyramid. And this one's called the constrictive pyramid. Okay, constrictive pyramid. So, just so, without even looking at this, what do you think about the, the, the fertility rate, right? It went way down, so it's going to be what? Is it going to be high or low? The fertility rate, it's going to be low, okay? So let's look at this. Here's all our answer choices. Let's just, okay, so it's going to be low fertility rate, so I can eliminate D and E. Uh, the next one's mortality rate. Okay, so the mortality rate, hmm. Are people dying or are they living? In subsequent generations, it looks like people are actually living pretty well, right? They're not like, it's not going down like, like this guy was. So actually people are, the, the mortality rate is actually going to be low, right? It's a low mortality rate. People aren't dying. So we're going to have low mortality rate. So I can eliminate him. And then the last piece, is it a, is it a life expectancy? Okay, well, are, are people living into, you know, past and in, into their 80s and 90s? And then this one is going to be Yes. Okay, they are living, obviously, in this one, more women than men, but then that might just be, you know, might be typical, okay, uh, for this country. So this is going to be a high life expectancy. This is a constricted pyramid. So we just talked about it. Low fertility rate, good. Low mortality rate, high life expectancy. And if you know those three things, for all three different type of pyramids, you're going to get these questions right. Um, the narrowing at the bottom means the population is what? The population is shrinking. It's getting smaller, okay? Um, you know, most of the population is, in, is gonna be in the, what, older generations through here. Um, this is seen in, the, in developed countries a, as well, okay? So again, just a, a quick review on that. We have this is gonna be the expansive, looks like a, looks like a triangle. Okay, the expansive pyramid. Then we had the um, 
the stationary pyramid. It looks like a it looks like a rectangle with the pyramid on top. And then this one we had the constructive pyramid. It looks like an inverted uh, like an inverted triangle um, for the most part. Okay. And this is one of those say anomaly things. If we looked at this. Based on the population pyramid, which of the following best explains the shift in the male population between 25 to 45 years of age? So if you can see, here's the, here's the females on this side, only, only so many. And then all of a sudden, in this country, there's a ton of males that are basically in the 25 to 29. But they're saying, okay, between 25 and 45, why do we have all these extra relatively young men out there? Okay, what would best explain that in if they were taking a look at the data? Is it war? Okay, well, would war cause more men to come into this country per se? Um, you know, if it was war, I think in a population we would probably, you know, see as it went like this, maybe we would see like an indention for certain, you know, age groups, right? It would be smaller, like because we would, there, there wouldn't be as many men but there's more men than women. So I wouldn't really say war would cause, would cause an influx of men coming in. If anything, it would make the men go down. Is it famine? Well, once again, I think if you, if you look through something and you saw an indention for a little bit, then you could, and, and probably, I'm drawing the wrong picture here. Anyways, if you saw an indention on both sides, I think then you'd be say, okay, maybe there was a famine going on or something that caused that generation to really struggle um, or several generations to really struggle. Is it work migration? Okay, well, that's possible, right? Because you can influx a, a lot of working class men or working age group men into, into this population. So that might explain it. Birth control measure? Well, that wouldn't explain why it's just men, um, you know, not this whole China thing, but you know, that really wouldn't explain, you know, if it was a birth control measure, you would see really like a really an indention down in here of some type. Or pandemic, that really wouldn't explain an influx of men. So the only answer on this one, why is there more men that are working age? It's going to be a work migration, okay? You have to understand they could, they could throw something out that at you. But if you know the basics, population down here, females, males, you can understand how to play with this. But I'd say you got to be familiar with the fertility rate. You look right here. The mortality rate to see if people are living or, or dying some subsequent generations. And then the life expectancy. Okay? But in this answer, it's going to be work migration. And then the last one, this is just kind of a review. You can see how there was a great famine, they say. And see how there's like an indention that affected that, that group. And it's hard to say where that that was, whether they were young when that happened or there was just a short, not many people were, were born and that kind of carried through. But whenever you see an indention like this, you got to be thinking, you know, famine, war, something like that. Um, again, right here, there's a, there's a, there's just an, a, a drop off. So they're saying that's when there was a civil war in this country. Um, and let me say winter war, and winter peace. Okay. So again, you got these little, little bit of, of, um, a discrepancy, it's not, not a uniformity there, so there's usually a war when there's a lot more people. In this one, they're saying there's baby boomers um, and, and such like that. Okay? So, again, guys, if you just take it from the general pattern, think this is expansive. This is a, is a stationary pyramid, and this is going to be the constrictive. So, high fertility rate. <clears throat> uh, high mortality, decreased life expectancy. Um, and then, as we say, like in this one, uh, what did we say that one was? I'm going to make, miss, make sure I'm consistent with it. But this one is going to be, as we say, low fertility rate, low mortality rate, high life expectancy. And then the um, inverted one, it's going to be low fertility rate, low mortality rate, and then high life expectancy. And if you know those, you should be doing okay, guys. So, hope you liked the video.